how to create and sell an online course with Teachable. Enter your email to get started for free. If you'd like to support our channel, you can sign up for your Teachable account using the link in the description below. To get started with Teachable, enter your full name, select the password, confirm the password, click on agree to the terms of use and privacy policy, and create your account. Give Teachable more information about yourself, and then click on next. You can get started selling your online course using Teachable's free plan, but keep these things in mind. You can publish one product of each type, upload 10 video lessons, enroll 10 students, sell any product with a transaction fee of a dollar plus 10%. Or you can check out the different options for paid plans by clicking on compare plans. There are three main paid plans. You have the basic plan, professional plan, and pro plus. You'll see with the basic plan, there's still a 5% transaction fee. You can publish five courses, have unlimited students, have a community. If you upgrade further to the professional plan, you have a 0% transaction fee. You can publish 50 courses, add five admins. If you want to pay for any of the plans annually, you'll get three months of the year free. Here you'll want to choose your product. I'm going to create an online course today. So I'll select that and click on continue. Today I'm going to create our online course channel launch roadmap and Teachable. If you have a thumbnail image for your course, you can upload that here. The aspect ratio is 16 by nine, basically the same thing as a YouTube thumbnail. There's that and I'll click on continue. Now set the price. This will be a one-time purchase. The course costs $47. I'll re-enter the course name, add a subtitle, as well as a more detailed description. If you upgrade a paid plan, you can turn on this option, limit enrollment by cap or expiration date and time. The option down below, limit product access duration, you can turn on and off with a free or a paid plan. Basically, if you wanted to give someone access to your course for a week, you would turn that on right here. You can also enable buy now, pay later through Teachable back office. Let's click on continue. This video is sponsored by porkbar.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today, and also our top choice for 2024. You can find out more about Porkbun in this video right here. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link below or enter the code the Fidco24 at checkout. Now we're gonna create an outline for the course starting from scratch. Teachable splits your courses up into sections and lessons. Let's add a welcome section and a lesson called Get Started. I'll save both, and then if I click on the Get Started lesson, I can add content to the lesson. Let's add a welcome video. Let's add some additional content down below. We'll add a section for text and images. Here, I'll just add a link to our YouTube channel. Now let's publish the Get Started lesson. I'll create another section called Channel Creation, and then a lesson under that called How to Create Your YouTube Channel. Then I'll add a video to the lesson, How to Create Your YouTube Channel. Then I'll publish this lesson, go back to the main curriculum, add an additional section. Let's call that Planning Your First Videos. And then within this section, we'll create a lesson called Endless YouTube Video Ideas. I'll add a video to this lesson as well. Then I'll publish that lesson. One thing I forgot to do is enable student comments. Let's go and enable that for each of the lessons. Now let's customize the school theme. I'll upload our logo, a school thumbnail, as well as a favicon. Then down below that, you can select the font family. Then you can select the color palette. You have these four preset options, or down below, you can choose the specific color for each one of these different options. If you're good with that, click on save. Now let's update our domain. Being that I'm still on a free plan, I only have access to a teachable subdomain. I can update my teachable subdomain, and once I upgrade to a paid plan, I'll be able to connect my own domain or subdomain to my Teachable school. You'll be able to host your courses and sales pages at mycourses.com or courses.mybusiness.com, examples of domains and subdomains. For instructions on how to connect the custom domain to your Teachable school, you can follow the instructions of this help article that you'll find down below in the description. If you need a domain for your website or online school, we recommend purchasing a domain from porkbun.com. A .com domain costs $10.37, and you can get a dollar off by using the link in the description. Your domain purchase includes Whois Privacy Protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. Now let's create a sales page for our course channel on Troadmap. To do that, go back to courses, then select the course, and then click on sales pages. And then we'll click on edit the sales page. Let's see what sections are part of the template. Up along the top, we have a banner section, then we have an image with text section, a text section, a text with image grid section, the course curriculum, pricing, another image with text section, the feature products, and email leads form. 
I don't think it makes sense to be asking for someone's email when we want them to focus on purchasing the course. Let's delete the email signup form. Then I want to add an additional section with a video and then click on add. Then here along the left, we can update the text. So example, video title, I'll add a title. I'll add some descriptive text and then I'll upload our video. Then let's move the video section right below the banner. Now let's edit the banner section. Let's first replace this image. Then I'll update the heading text to launch your YouTube channel. Then I'll add something for the subheading text. I want this button to go to the checkout page. I'll select the $47 pricing plan for the course. Then we'll update the button text. I'll have it say, ready to launch my channel. Then if you click the back arrow, it'll list all the different sections again. Let's scroll down and update the image with text section. I'll change the heading text and then the longer text. And then in this text section, why don't we talk about what someone would learn in the course? I'll just list out everything that's included. Then for this section, you see there's three different sections with text with image one, text with image two, text with image three. You can update the image if you'd like. I'm just gonna leave these for now. And then go through and update the heading text as well as the paragraph text. If you scroll down further, you see text with image two. And then we'll go and update that. Why don't we have this one be about the proper camera settings to record good videos. And then for this last section, we can talk about editing. It's really not that difficult to edit your first YouTube videos if you use a fairly easy to use editing software. And then this next section is a list of the curriculum. I don't know why it says example curriculum, so let's actually delete that word. And then you can see this is the actual curriculum. These are the lessons that we created earlier. This course is closed for enrollment. Let's see, so we have pricing plans, channel launch roadmap. All right, there we go. So channel launch roadmap, plan your course, this, enroll now. We'll change the button text to ready to launch my channel. All right, have to go back. And then there's another uh, image with text section here. Let's get rid of that. And that's looking pretty solid. Let's update this. Now let's customize the checkout page. This is where somebody's going to fill out their payment information and click on purchase. To edit that, go back to sales pages. Down below the sales page, you'll see the checkout page and click on edit. Here, one thing that may help with the conversions is adding testimonials. So let's add a heading for the testimonial, something like, see what our students have to say. And then you can upload a photo, add their name, as well as the testimonial. I don't have anybody else's photos or testimonials saved for this, so I'll just make one up for me. Obviously, you want to use real testimonials. So. so here is one testimonium. If you're good with that, click on Save. And let's preview the checkout page. Here's what the checkout page is going to look like. I'm currently using Safari, so that's where the Apple Pay comes in. I can add my card information, or I could sign into my bank account. Down below, you have the billing address, so name on the card, and the street address, city, state, etc. And then down below, you have the buy button, and here you can see uh, the testimonial we created a second ago. Along the right-hand side, you have the order summary of purchasing Channel Launch Roadmap for $47 and another buy now button. And then we can add the thank you page where someone is going to end up after purchasing the course. This just says, thank you for your purchase. Click on the button below to get started with your course curriculum. Start your course. So this looks good to me. Not going to make any changes here. Those are the three pages that you're going to want to create to sell your teachable course. You have the sales page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. Then the last thing we need to do here is a set of payments so someone can purchase the course and the money will end up in your bank account. To do that, click on settings and then click on payments. Here you'll select the country where you're based. In the U.S., it'll ask for the state as well as the zip code. If you're at any one of these countries, you can use Teachable Pay. You can see right here with Teachable Pay, you can receive quicker payouts and have author and affiliate payouts handled for you. To continue with the Teachable Pay setup, enter your mobile number and click on Continue. Follow the rest of the steps to continue setting up Teachable Pay. Once you've got this set up, I would go through and just double check everything. And then the very last thing left to do before selling your course is to publish it. To do that, go to Courses, and then right here you're going to see it says Unpublished. In Actions along the right, click on the three dots and click on Publish Course. Now you're ready to sell your online course with Teachable. Don't forget to use Porkman.com if you need a domain or if you want to save money on a domain you already own. 
you can transfer your domain to Porkbun, saving you money on the annual renewals. Get a dollar off new domains and transfers by using the code thefigco 24 at checkout. If you're still not sure about using Teachable to host and sell your online courses, you may want to check out System.io. Here's a System.io tutorial video right here, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.